Hey Leo, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. This should resonate for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross-watching, welcome, welcome. This can be your situation or your partner's. It kind of just depends. All right, let's just go ahead and hop into it. What's the overall energy for love and romance for Leo? Okay, Ace of Cups. I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's something new coming in. Like there is a very new energy. Um, what's Leo's person of interest? What is, what is their overall energy? What's their overall energy? Leo's person. Okay. The fool with the eight of wands. Some of you may be dealing with a Sag, Pisces, or Aquarius. Maybe they have a Mercury and Sag. How does Leo feel about this person? How does Leo feel about this person? The magician? You know. Also, Gemini, Scorpio, Aries, Virgo, and, ooh, wants to pop out. What's the current situation between these two romantically? What's the current situation between Leo and their person of interest romantically? Ten of Pentacles wanted to come out. Queen of Pentacles, what's the overall energy between Leo and their person of interest romantically? Overall energy. Or what's the current situation? King of Pentacles. Okay. So I want to say this before I pull your guys' outcome. I feel like this King of Pentacles has been coming up for you guys for close to a year. That's big Taurus energy, Taurus or Leo. Um, also going to be Capricorn or Virgo. However, I do want to say this. This King of Pentacles has been coming up in your guys is extended for a while. Now, if you're a man and you're like, why the fuck is the King of Pentacles there? That can either be you or it can be the fact that your person is coming in as extremely stable and they have more masculine energy. So this can be somebody who's definitely more so of a giver than a receiver. Okay. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, best potential outcome for these two romantically, romantic feelings. Ew. Yes. Okay. So I am going to say this, I do feel like, um, and for those of you that are like, I don't have anybody new, whatever. Okay. Listen, I do feel like for a lot of you guys, um, there's definitely something here about somebody new coming in. Like this is a very new energy. I don't feel a lot of old energy here. And maybe when I start pulling, I'll feel something different. However, I do feel like over these last couple of months, there's been a big heavy emphasis on having a level of self-love and um, really pouring into your own cup, working on yourself, um, getting your body, your mind, um, you know, everything, your emotions, bringing that all back together to a place where like this Ace of Cups, this can be romantic in the sense of somebody else offering, but it also can be you guys, you know, pouring in your own cup, okay? I do feel like, too, with this big, like, love yourself first type of movement, especially for um, Leos in general, there's something here about moving on and being happy that you're not in some past situation. It's also about living in the moment and having a really, really good time, so... <laughs> With that being said, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, and I feel like you guys are having conversations with your friends. I think that you guys are talking things out right now with whatever's going on. And it's really giving you a sense of comfort. As far as your partner is concerned, and then I'll just say this and I'll start pulling. You know, there is a heavy, I feel like, sense of attraction I do think that this person um, definitely wants to date you. I feel like they've looked at you for a period of time. However, there may have always been like a third party interference, which could have been on your end or their end. And maybe that's why they've waited to approach you. But this energy is all very new, beautiful energy. Okay. Why is overall energy the Ace of Cups here for Leo? Judgment. Okay. That can be a reconciliation with somebody from the past. Maybe some of you guys have been thinking heavily about the past. Why is judgment here with the Ace of Cups? Three of Cups. 
I just feel like, honestly, like, it's going to be a month where you get together, you have a good time, you hang out with your friends, you go grab a drink, whatever arguing and fighting, like, that's left behind. I, I, I don't, I don't get a sense of that. Also, too, with this Three of Cups here, that's Mercury and Cancer, right? So, one, that can be out there talking with friends, having a good time. But also, I feel like... I feel like this is you enjoying time with your friends. Because how does Leo feel about this Three of Cups? The Judgment? Okay, the King of Cups. This can be too, like the fact that the virus is almost over or for some of you guys that are in states where it's being lifted, it's like you can finally go out and have a good time. Um, that's how you feel almost. One card here for the overall energy. I feel like you guys are gonna meet somebody while you're out having a good time. It may even be somebody from your past that comes forward, but you haven't like, I feel like you haven't looked at the at this person in that manner. Like it's it, it, it's a very big like friend vibe. Yeah, and it's it's a lot of like, oh, I like this person, I like you. Because what it says here for your overall energy is someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wants to date. So I definitely feel like you guys have somebody that's looking at you. I feel like this is a very light energy. I don't think that this is a heavy energy. I feel like you guys are probably going to find this out, but things are definitely going to be coming to light and things are going to be changing. And I feel like there's going to be a lot of passion behind who this person is and who's coming in. Okay. So this person's energy is the fool with the eight of wands. I feel like this person is like, you know, on the go. Like you want to, you want to go hang out? Cool. Let's do it. Oh, you want to fly here? Come on, bring that ass over. Right. I mean, this is, your person has a very upbeat, happy energy. This person is coming across as the fool. I, I, I think that they don't have a lot of restrictions right now. And I think that they're kind of on a path where they're just trying to live their life, to be honest. And with the sun here and the eight of wands, I do feel like so for some of you, they may be at a distance. Some of you may be dealing also with another Leo. Or maybe they have Leo in their chart. However, I do think that there is a level of communication here with this person. And I feel like it's a very optimistic, positive type of energy. It's very interesting to me. Because anytime you have an eight of wands here, especially with the sun, that's communication that's very optimistic. Like somebody's looking forward to seeing you. They're also looking forward to talking to you and seeing where things go. I feel like this person is very intelligent and I feel like there is a very positive vibe to them. It's something different than I feel like what you've had prior. And I feel like it's something that you've been waiting for. And I definitely feel like this person is a brand new start. I think that you're attracted to them. Yeah. I think you're attracted to them. And honestly, I think that um, for a lot of you guys, you understand you had to walk away from that other situation that was going on because it just wasn't healthy. And I feel like with this person, it gives you a level of hope. And there's also like a re a new, um, like, I don't know, I don't want to say like pep in your step, but there's definitely something here with that. One card here for um, Leo's person's overall energy with love and romance. Twin flames, you know. And, you know, I don't like to use a twin flame um, verbiage or whatever. However, I mean, when the card pops up as twin flame, I have to take it and I have to acknowledge it. Um, this person is going to offer you a lot of balance. There's something here with union and duality. I feel like for you, Leo, you're somebody that's always offering. You're somebody that's always constantly giving. And I feel like this person is going to do the same. I feel like there's a level of balancing here. However, I do think that this person has to take a chance. I feel like this person has noticed you maybe before you even notice them. Because they're being very strategic. This person is coming across as somebody very strategic. This person is coming across as having more than one option in how to approach you. However, I do feel like this is a very new type of energy. 
Okay, how you feel about the person is a magician. Why? With the three of wands. There's Aries. Some of you definitely may be dealing with the Aries. With the four of cups reversed. I think this, okay? I feel like for a lot of people, for a lot of Leos, and again, if no one's here for you, I feel like it's coming, okay? Like, I feel like this person is coming in. Um, I feel like for you, if you look, the four of cups is reversed. It's going to the three, the three of cups over here, which is overall energy. I feel like this person kind of takes you out of that funk. I feel like whatever was being offered prior, not by this person, but I feel very strongly by somebody else who maybe was more flighty, maybe was more so of like, I don't want to call it like, you know, the fuck boy or girl, but I think that you're over not receiving exactly what you're supposed to. Like offers, offers that are not at your standard, you're no longer even considering it. And I feel like what's happening is because you're telling the universe, hey, I'm not, I don't want any bullshit. I'm willing to wait. I feel like this person is now coming in because now you're out of this four of cups and you're in the three of cups. And it's almost like there's a level of optimism, opti optimism looking out, you know, as things are going on. Like imagine the ocean as you're, as this new relationship, right? Or this boat. And it's almost like you're now watching it. Like, okay, well, what are they going to do? But having a very optimistic look about where this situation is going and knowing that it is going to a place that is stable. It's like there's no more um, emotional emotional um, instability. And I feel like this person definitely is a, um, it's a surprise. Like, I feel like this person, how they are, it's definitely a surprise. It's refreshing. And I just think that this is a very new type of situation. For some of you guys, this person is definitely younger than you. For sure. One card here on how Leo feels romantically about their person of interest. How does Leo feel romantically about their person of interest? Ew, look at this. Love. Beautiful. Unconditional love, self-love, passion, oneness, affection, attraction. So here's the thing. I feel like there was probably, like I said, a moment where you had to take a step back and really realign yourself. And I feel like there was something that was very hurtful about your past. And it led to a feeling of being lost, right? Or almost like mourning. I feel like there's a level of healing that's gone on, which is why you're now able to receive this new offer. And you can see it is a new offer. Page of Wands, Page of Cups. It's coming back to a place where I feel like you feel really good, Leo. Okay. So your situation um, with Love and Romance is a King of Pentacles. So I do think that this is something that moves that, that takes a level of time, but I feel like um, to start up. However, I do feel like this person's been watching you for a period of time. So it's actually time has been longer than what it actually seems to you. I also feel like, um, you know, the situation, I feel like this is a very romantic time. Information here. Why are you showing me the King of Pentacles for the overall situation? Like there is, okay, here's the Queen of Wands. So there's Aries or Cancer. How does Leo feel about this Queen of Wands? How does Leo feel about this Queen of Wands? King of Wands. know I asked why the king of pentacles was here because for me king of wands is you here's your partner I do feel like this person is your match because they're coming in as the queen of wands now if they came in as the queen of cups then that would be I wouldn't necessarily I would say that's somebody very loving but the fact that both of these are coming in and look 
do you see this? Queen of Wands, King of Wands, like this, this is a perfect match, right? There's a lot of passion and a lot of chemistry and um, a lot of like raw emotions here, I feel like between the two of you. And when I asked why the King of Pentacles was here, they, it came out the High Priestess. So I feel like there's something that's not known yet about the situation. And I feel like it's still progressing, especially with this High Priestess here. Like there's still a level of progression. And it's still not, it, it's not necessarily been revealed yet. However, I do feel like the High Priestess is covering this um, King of Pentacles. Because that's coming. That stability is coming. And I also feel like it's a very solid offer. Yo, right as I said that, look. Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Pisces, Mars and Pisces, Virgo, Virgo, Gemini. There's a very stable energy behind this and it works. It's weird. It's like, because this person has that stability that I feel like has been lacking in the prior readings, it's making you very happy, like extremely happy. And it is a very solid offer and you can see that it's coming across originally as the Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. However, what's actually underneath this is your King of Pentacles. Okay? So what I think is going to be happening for your situation, you're going to start building this friendship, building this relationship, right? You're going to start having a level of communication with this person. You may even work with them or there's something that you and them are putting together or getting in place. And I feel like this leads to a lot of happiness between you and this person. Yeah, and a lot of abundance. Like there's something about you and this person being together that's beautiful. It's also about, too, keeping a very positive mindset, manifesting exactly what you want. Um, really kicking out any outdated thinking. So that may be something to the extent of I'm not worthy of this or, you know, um, feeling like you're always the one that has to chase somebody. Like that's not the case because this person is very persistent. This person understands that they're going to take the long route because it's more stable. However, in the process, they're still stimulating your other senses. You have touch, you have like your heart or your emotions. Like this is beautiful. I actually really like this person. But I feel like this person doesn't come in for a lot of you until you have clarity on your current situation that you need to release. For those of you that this has brought enough clarity, I love you guys so much. Thank you. I appreciate you. And um, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Peace.